chapter What the hell? Wow, no way. Really? Absolutely don't believe it. I was doing exactly the same, just my microphone wasn't uh, on because I wanted to allow those of you who weren't that excited to experience the cutscenes. Without spoiling too much, I would say that what happened with Cot in this chapter was just mind blowing. The good things. We have variations for dialogue options and for cutscenes, very different things depending on previous choices in the previous chapters, which of our characters have been freed, left, killed, which of our characters we uh, make happy, which of the characters don't enjoy the leadership of uh, my outlander, my alliance leader, my commander. The bad thing, obviously, is that we saw absolutely no ending. Actually, we've gained a new enemy. We've gained that enemy in the previous chapter, Scorpio, but it wasn't exactly clear what Scorpio's agenda and what is she planning to do with the new power she's uh, obtained in chapter 15, the Gemini Deception. I'm sad that we don't get to see a conclusion. As someone mentioned, forgive me, I forgot who it was, a couple of minutes in the chat here, um, we, we didn't get to accomplish anything in this uh, in this whole season of 16 chapters of uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire, all of the main enemies are still dead. What's worse, they seem to be even stronger. That's a fantastic starting point for the next season, but when you have a conclusion chapter, final chapter for something, you would want something major to happen and not probably in the way that it did happen. Don't, don't, go, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely excited about, about what we've just experienced here, but it was like a prelude to the next season or to the next expansion, Knights of the Eternal Throne. Nothing like a conclusion of this. We didn't get to understand what exactly happened to Valkorion, why is he still with us, but why he didn't take part in the final battle with Arkhan. Except that my all-powerful character could do absolutely nothing but shield themselves with hand against Arkhan's lightsaber attack. I mean, Arkhan is not all... He is powerful, but he's not all powerful. The, the way my character was behaving in the dialogues during the fight with Arkhan, before the, uh, the fight with Arkhan began, uh, I was just showing... A total lot of a lack of respect towards uh, the Zaku Emperor. I was showing readiness. I was showing prepar uh, preparations and total will to dominate him and absolutely destroy him. And then we fight him. He attacks and we do this. That was really weird. Okay, I know I said not many spoilers will be included in this short review or overview, whatever you want to call it. But it's really hard to talk about the events of the chapter without spoiling. I would like to thank all of you who appeared for both of the playthroughs and the pack opening. The videos will be available as soon as I can do that. It depends on YouTube from here on now, not on me. The sooner YouTube finishes processing the videos, the sooner I will be able to upload them. I would like to apologize. I have been reading the chat, but because it was about... Uh, the story experience, not about me communicating with you so much like in a normal live show. Today it was about the story and it is the same thing I repeat every time in the beginning of the month or actually when we have a new chapter released. These uh, live shows are more because of we want to experience the story. That's why I might have left some of your questions unanswered. It's not intended. Feel free to post them on the video as a normal comment after I publish the video and I will do my best to give you an answer why I've made this decision or that decision. Most of the time it's because I want to see all of the outcomes, not because I'm a role player. I'm definitely not a role player and some of my decisions are purely driven by the desire to see different outcomes and not exactly follow a straight path. Like for example, I truly enjoyed Senya. Why would I shoot on Senya? Well, because I wanted to see what happens. I did the other thing in the previous playthrough and I wanted to see what happened in this one. So that's me. 
wrapping up. It is 6.36 in the morning, my local time. I spent all night, including the previous evening, actually, because I live streamed uh, two hours of day four of my uh, Dark versus Light uh, character leveling event. So even though it wasn't a continuous live stream, I have been sitting here in front of the PC for 10-ish hours. Thank you guys for witnessing all of this with me. Thank you for sharing your experience.